Time. Uh, it's Monday today, and uh, yeah, it's not not a bad Monday at all, really. Um, poor old Wales only managed to draw yesterday, but the uh, brave boys of not the Republic of Ireland got a win, so against Moldova. So um, yeah, that's all good. And uh, I think it's I think it's there's more this week, and there I believe. I think England are playing Moldova. Is it Moldova? I can't remember. But I think Eng England are definitely playing tomorrow. Um, hopefully a bit better than Saturday, but I'm not holding my breath, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, a bit disappointed this morning. Um, I applied for my place in the London Marathon back in April, May time, and... Um, I do this thing where you know, like you, you pay you pay your amount, and if you're not successful in the draw, because it, like, it's a draw to get a place in the London Marathon, what they do, um, if you, you can either sort of opt to have your money back, or opt for the money to go to the, the whichever the charity it is that they're supporting this year. And they give you a gift, and usually the gifts are pretty good, like fleece or something like that. And they sent me a running top this year. It's way too small. I don't know, you know. Um, I guess they don't expect people who are six foot one and you know, sort of nearly fifteen stone to be marathon runners. But you know, you know, me and Jonathan Cracknell, you know. So uh, yeah, I. <laughs> Yeah, so I'll, I'll be giving that to someone, I suppose. Um, probably my daughter, I guess. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, I've, I've been really busy this morning, you know. And I kind of sort of, I kind of, I, I'm pleased with myself because when I woke up this morning, I felt a bit, I must admit, I felt a bit crap. I had a sore throat and. It would be very easy for me to have gone, oh, well, I feel crap, I'm not doing anything, I think I'm just going to lie in bed. And, and I don't do that anymore. My days of doing that are long gone. And, um, yeah, and so I just got up, got on with it, did, you know, did some yoga, did my insanity, had a run, I've had a swim. I'm going to cycle soon. And, um, you know, still a bit, there's a bit of a frog in the throat, but, you know, I'm, I think, you know, if, if I'd have sort of just done nothing, I'd have probably been running the temperature by now and, and feeling, a, you know, feeling absolutely, you know, f awful. And, I, and look, I don't like being ill. I don't like being ill anyway, um, partly because, um, well, you know, I feel cheated if I'm ill, like, you know. Um, you know, especially on a day like today where it's nice and sunny, I want to be out doing stuff and... Uh, if I'm in and I can't do it, I really that really gets in my that really winds me up. Um, but the other thing as well is um, since I stopped drinking, you know, that, like when I have been ill, and it, I very very rarely get ill. I think I've only been ill about twice since I stopped drinking, and each time that was a chest infection. And um, you know, and bad, you know, bad enough. In fact, the last one I had, I had one. I had to have two. Two two rounds of of uh, antibiotics to sort it out, and it just it just well, it just wouldn't go. And um, the trouble was, and I feel like that, and I just stay in and I don't do anything. It just spins me back to when I used to drink, and when I I was so you know like so drunk so drunk I couldn't do anything, and you know the same sort of befuddled sort of head. So um, yeah, I, I really don't like. I really don't like being ill at all. Um, yeah, but apart from that, things are pretty good. Um, I've got this course coming up the weekend. Um, I think you know I'm, I'm gonna what I'm gonna do. Um, I will be teaching insanity at some point. I'm not quite sure when. Um, I saw a friend of mine yesterday, and he, he assures me that his wife would be very interested in it. If she can drum up a few more people, I'll, I'll you know I'll go ahead with it, but. As it stands at the moment, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to sort of like, sort of like organise having a, a class in a in a and pay for a pay for a room and then wind up 
like no one turning up. It's, you know, it's just, it wastes my time and it's very, very, very disheartening. You know, I mean, all the, you know, the, the time and effort I put into it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just concentrate on the Reiki healing at the moment, which seems to be going really well. And, um, and then if anyone wants some personal training, well, you know, they, they can get it on the back of that. Um, or, or, you know, still, you can still, you know, you can still sort of message me or whatever. And, uh, you know, I mean, I'm quite happy to do NLP, personal training or whatever, but what I mean is I think I'm going to focus my efforts on, um, on the Reiki, especially now, um, I've got a treatment room that I can work out of at Ben's gym. So that's, that's really, that's really good. Um, speaking of the Reiki, I saw my friend Tim yesterday, who, um, lovely man, I've known Tim, Yorkshire fella, I've, we've known each other for the best part of 40 years, and, uh, his partner, Anne Marie, she's a lovely girl too, she comes from the other side of the Pennines, and, um, yeah, they're northerners, but they're all right. <laughs> and uh, anyway, um, you know, I, I did some Reiki on his back um, back in August time. And I hadn't really heard much from him, but, you know, the Yorkshireman, you know, don't get much out of a Yorkshireman, do you, really? And uh, no, he, no, I said, how's your back? And he, he said, I haven't had any trouble with it, you know, at all. And he'd been really, really suffering with it. And... Um, you know, I mean, Tim's the same age as me, and he still likes to play cricket, and, you know, it's still... So, you know, if that means that he's, you know, he's going to have a few more seasons playing cricket, brilliant, you know. So, you know, and I saw Sarah, whose foot I managed to sort out. She had plantar fasciitis, and didn't see her speak to, unfortunately, but, uh, well, we, you know, we acknowledge each other in passing, and... Um, yeah, she's she's you know she thought she weren't going to be able to run anymore, and she's back up and running. Um, you know, so that's that's really good. So, you know, I mean, if if um, if you have got any physical ailments like that, especially long term chronic things like that, that are you know, I mean, not like bad, you know, backs, um, plantar fasciitis, any sort of like anything like that, I can deal with no problem, and. Um, and also, like I'm seeing soon next week, um, who have been sort of like, well, just suffering a lot of stress and anxiety, and um, the Reiki sort of helps sort her out. So, you know, it works. It's 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 an amazing thing. It works. It, it, it never fails to amaze me, you know, how it can work on two levels, and how it can work so quickly. You know, it really does. But, you know... Um, I can bang on about that until the cows come home, but unless you, until you experience it, you, you're not going to know the truth of it. But yeah, but uh, I'll leave it there. I think I've, I've plugged myself enough for a day. And um, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Cheers.